There was just 10 days to go until the deadline that Prime Minister Boris Johnson had set out for the UK to agree a deal with the European Union or move on, which of course is the 15th of October. That was the deadline Boris Johnson set out. Uh, it looks like Germany, uh, the German government, with a big push today to try and get a deal done as the clock ticks down, of course, towards the end of the year when that transition period ends. We're going to give you all the very latest on what's going on today in these negotiations. But as ever, guys, you could start off by please remember to click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss future reports. Lots going on. I don't want you to miss out on the latest. Yes, so the EU's chief negotiator, Michel Barnier, a meeting with Chancellor, German Chancellor Angela Merkel today, uh, ahead of a trip to London on Wednesday for more talks uh, with David Frost, Lord Frost, Frosty, the no man as we call him on this channel. Uh, Barnier also met today with Germany's Foreign Minister Heiko Maas this morning. Uh, he's, and, he, and he made an interesting uh, comment. He said that the coronavirus pandemic had made a Brexit trade deal more urgent even now than before. Maas saying uh, after his meeting with Michel Barnier this morning that with today's health and economic challenges, people on both sides of the channel have enough to shoulder. So it would be totally irresponsible, in his words, to burden them in this position with additional problems through a no deal. Now, that, so that's the German Foreign Minister, Heiko Maas. But what's interesting is the contrast is that the uh, word coming out from the British government is that actually they think with everything that's happened with the pandemic, actually with everything else going on in this pandemic, uh, a no deal would actually be easier to deal with. And of course, we're going to get the Project Fear scare stories no, c come what may. But interesting that on the German, from the German Foreign Minister there, seemingly, I would say, they're looking at a concerted attempt to try and get a deal done. Now, that, of course, they're dealing with a very different British government. This we're seeing under Boris Johnson in terms of the stance being taken to Theresa May and Ollie Robbins and all that rubbish. Um, so it looks to me like uh, the German government here, Angela Merkel and her allies, uh, realising that there needs to be a change in approach potentially on the EU side if they want to secure themselves a deal with the UK. Michel Barnier also meeting with Angela Merkel. So interesting there that the, the German Foreign Minister seemingly highlighting the importance in his view of a deal with the UK being done. Now this is what the German Foreign Office have been tweeting out today. They've been saying that if we want to reach the finishing line we must now make progress in negotiations. They said uh, saying that COVID-19 has made the talks even more difficult in every respect, but it has also made finding an agreement all the more urgent. Also saying as the EU were heading down the final straight of the negotiations with a constructive attitude, we still want a solution. Areas such as peace in Northern Ireland, the EU internal market and legal structures are very important to us. The EU is negotiating with a great will, they say, to achieve a solution, so that they stand behind Michel Barnier, who is leading the negotiations and enjoys their full confidence and saying that the door opens for a close and ambitious partnership. Now, before I move on, I just want to push, I just want to highlight this, because this is something you won't hear in the British media, who seem to take the EU's uh, word on pretty much everything as being, being gospel. Now, when Heiko Maas, after his meeting with Michel Barnier, talked about totally irresponsible, not for, you know, for, to have a no deal, not to have a deal, what's totally irresponsible, in my view, is that the EU... Uh, instead of just agreeing a trade deal similar to the one agreed with Canada, is trying to throw in a lot of undesirable extras that the British government have made clear repeatedly this country doesn't want with a trade deal. They're trying to, for instance, maintain the status quo over fisheries, even though the UK clearly voted to leave the EU policy, the common fisheries policy, and EU control on fisheries. They don't seem to have understood that. That's, that's what I would say is deeply irresponsible. They still want to push for the so-called level playing field, tying the UK's hands and what British governments can do on areas like state aid. I think that's damn irresponsible. And you see example after example of policy areas that the EU wants to uh, get the UK to agree to restrictions moving forward instead of simply agreeing a trade deal. And that's the real issue here. The UK side is looking for a trade deal. The EU side is trying to block and stop and limit Brexit competitive advantage by getting the UK, by getting the British government to sign up to a list of commitments on various policy areas on EU rules. That's irresponsible. And, you know, the German government and others should realise if they want to do a, a sensible trade deal, then that is fine. The British government will do that. What we cannot have is the UK signing up to a whole list 
policy constraints. And as we saw on Sunday, Nigel Farage warning, his fear is that there will be a deal, but it will be one with aspects in there that, you know, like I, I dare say on the level playing field, uh, where the UK is restricted on policy areas un under EU rules moving forward. That would be completely unacceptable, as would be selling out the British fishing industry yet again, when this is a vital time to really boost po coastal communities with that Brexit advantage of taking back control. Now, former Conservative MEP uh, highlighted the comments from uh, the German minister this morning, saying that he thinks the comment, these comments are significant, saying that it would not help ordinary people not to have a deal. The German presidency is exerting pressure, in David Kamalpana's views, on behalf of German exporters. And just to remind you uh, of what Boris Johnson, Prime Minister, said at the weekend, he thinks that there's a deal to be done. He told Andrew Marr that there are still some difficult issues to be fixed, but there's no question that the EU needs to understand that we're the British government are uh, utterly serious about needing to control our own laws and our own regulations. And similarly, they need to understand that the repatriation of the UK's fisheries is very important. Boris saying that he didn't want an Australian WTO type outcome particularly, but he said the country could more than live with it. Now, just to give you, finally, just to finish, just to give you one uh, analysis of the situation, Bank Goldman Sachs publishing a report uh, predicting that they think a deal will be reached by early November, although remained, in their view, a risk of a breakdown in negotiations. They're saying that their core view remains that a thin uh, zero tariff, zero quota trade agreement will likely be struck by early November and subsequently ratified by the end of December, according to their analysts. And they said that the risk of a breakdown in negotiations, of course, can't be ruled out. They continue to think the perceived probability of a no deal will persist beyond the next European Council meeting in mid-October. Now, of course, Boris Johnson had set that mid-October deadline. There's now some speculation that that could go on and on. Obviously, the transition period finishes at the end of this year. So there you have it. There does seem to be, you know, with Michel Barnier meeting, Angela Merkel, comments from the German foreign minister today about it being totally, totally irresponsible to have a no deal. Well, it's very easy, isn't it? If the EU are serious about a deal, it can be a free trade deal without policy constraints put and posed upon the UK that the British people didn't vote for. They voted to take back control. That is what I hope Boris Johnson and Lord Frost keep their eye on and deliver. Of course, some scepticism about if there is a deal, will it be one that involves a ton of British concessions thrown in just to get it over the line? That shouldn't be the mentality at all. No deal and walking away is always better than signing up to EU control and restraints and perpetuity. But guys, let me know what you think about all of this. Do you think this uh, move today, the, what the Germans are saying, uh, will have a big influence? Do you think it opens the way up for a deal or do you think we will still have no deal? Let me know what you think is going to happen, guys. Let me know what you want Boris and the British government to do. And as ever, if you found this report helpful and informative, please click that thumbs up button, click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss future reports. And of course, thank you very much for watching.